Yeah. It's so good. Oh. Yeah. Custom shooting mode. It's one of these features that just doesn't get enough attention. And once you try it, you can't live without it. Or can you? So, what is it? Okay, just bear with me here. One scenario could be that you want to have uh, specific settings when doing street photography, for example, and then you want a completely different sort of setup of, of functions when you are doing landscape. And if you're into time-lapse, you dirty little thing, then maybe you want another type of, of settings. And you can all save those settings into your custom functions. A completely different scenario could be that, for example, you are doing a wedding and you want to use uh, two button, back button, autofocus, and then you want to go into reception or doing uh, another type, and you just don't, you want regular spot focus on your Canon R6. And instead of sort of rechanging and reshifting all your functions all the time, you just switch to your presets of custom functions, custom shooting mode, save to C1, 2 and 3. It's... This gotta be good! So we're going into the wrench menu, menu 5, and then we're going to tab 5. And there we have custom shooting mode C1, 2, 3. At the top we have register settings. It does what it says. If we press register settings, we can decide to register current settings to shooting mode C1, C2 or C3. On the Canon R6, you can only save different photography modes into your custom modes. If you're a Canon R5 user or if you're a Canon R3 user, good for you. You can save the video settings as well to custom functions. But as a Canon R6 user, we will use the photography settings. You can also clear settings. Press clear settings, pick your C123 to clear and press OK. The auto update settings enable or disable. When enabled, any change we make to the current settings will automatically be changed to that specific custom shooting mode we are in. So I'm going to go back to shooting menu and under tab 3, I'm going to change from auto white balance to Calvin. And then when I go back to custom shooting mode and register that setting to C1, we have saved a new white balance to that. But as auto update is enabled, so if I go back now to white balance and change Calvin from 5200 to 5400 Calvin, that is automatically updated to that custom shooting mode. I don't like this just because of that. So I need more controls. We're actually going to disable auto update and I'm going to show you why I think that's a good idea. So that's it. That's how we register a custom shooting mode. When setting up a custom shooting mode, I think it's always good to be in manual mode. So put your camera in manual and then go into the menu. I'm going to go over some of my typical settings. So under white balance, I'm going to put that in auto white balance, white priority. And if you don't know how to do that, just press the info button, pick auto white balance and auto white balance, white priority. On menu tab seven under shooting menu, I'm going to disable touch shutter because I think it's a pain. Then on movie rec quality, I'm going to change to 4K 50. And AF method should be one point spot focus because I'm using two button back button autofocus. And subject to detect will be people and continuous autofocus going to be disabled. On server AF, I'm going to go with case one. It's the most versatile multi-purpose setting and it works for most scenarios. Then I'm skipping four and five and under record function card folder selection, this is how I have mine set up. And as I'm in Swedish, video system is going to be PAL and I think we're all set. It's just the basic settings. So I'm going to go to custom shooting mode and I'm going to register all of these settings to custom shooting mode C1. Then I'm going to 
skip out from the menu and from and if you now look at C1, it says C1M and that's because it's set to manual. Either if I'm changing settings now, I'm, let's change some shutter speed and aperture and ISO. I'm gonna enter out the menu, turning it to bulb and then back to C1. You can see that it actually goes back to where we saved it. And I think this is a good starting point. C1 manual, 1 160th of a second, F2.2 on ISO 100. Auto white balance, white part. That's basically my starting point when doing photography. That will not work for most scenarios. Sometimes we want to shoot fast moving people or subjects. I'm actually going to change to 1 800th of a second f1.4 on ISO 100. Now when we go into register custom shooting menu C2, it's saved. So let's quickly skip out of the menu and I'm going to turn C1 and C2. So now we have 1 C1 and C2. We can very quickly skip between a typical setting to a fast shallow depth of field setting with just one turn off the wheel instead of going into the menu. And this is much quicker, obviously. If we now add a scenario where we maybe don't want to do just fast moving people, let's say we are at the dog show and we want to be able to shoot both the animals and the people. So I'm going to go into manual mode. So I'm going to increase my shutter speed quite a lot. I'm also going to change my aperture so we don't need as much light. And I'm going to increase ISO just a tad. Then I'm also gonna change autofocus settings. Remember, the scenario is a talk show. So I'm gonna change white balance to be regular auto white balance instead of white priority. Then on autofocus settings, subject to detect is gonna be animals. That way, when we are using our back button autofocus for eye tracking, it's gonna track the eyes of animals. I'm also gonna change case from case one to case two. Let's say a dog is running behind a tree or it runs behind obstacles we want the camera to be able to track that better and then we are going back into custom shooting mode and I'm going to register that to C3 now when we skip out and switch between C1 C2 and C3 we have three completely different setups without ever having to go into the menus and I think this is a game changer Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed actually making it. And I learned a lot doing research for the custom modes. I've used them for quite some time and I just love it. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel as well as me telling if you like more of this type of content. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. It would mean the world. I hope to see you in the next one or any of these. Stay creative. Go out, shoot some amazing stuff, and see you in the next time. Bye-bye, Edo. -bye.